All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is gonna be a product feature of the Team Orion Advantage Touch Advanced Charger. Now this touchscreen charger is super cool, obviously because it has a touchscreen. You know, what, what doesn't have touchscreens these days? Smartphones, uh, iPods, even my thermostat has a touchscreen now. So super cool that they're uh, able to bring that technology to chargers for the RC community, so pretty cool. Um, now there's three different versions of this particular touchscreen charger available. Uh, the black one is what's called their Pro Series, and that is a DC only charger, so you will have to have an external power supply for it. Now the two white versions, um, the regular and then the advanced, the one you see here, the only difference is the wattage of the internal power supply. Uh, the regular one comes with a 50 watt power supply. This one comes with a 100 watt internal power supply. Pretty cool. So you're going to be able to charge those larger LiPos a little bit quicker. So all in all, very cool charger. Now the compatibility of this, obviously it's going to charge almost every battery out there for, especially for RC. It'll do LiPo, Life, Lithium Ion, Nickel Metal Hydride, NICAD, lead batteries, all the typical ones. Um, as far as the functions of it, this will charge, discharge, it'll put your batteries in storage, it'll cycle them, and it'll balance charge, which is the most important. Power sources, it can be powered by uh, an external battery, 11 to 18 volts, and then also um, AC voltage, 110 to 240. So if you plan to run this thing overseas or somewhere where you have 220, uh, you can do it. So pretty cool. Now there are different versions of this available at teamorion.com where you can get the different plugs for the different countries. So take a look at that too. That will determine which one you need. Now, other feature of this thing, 10 amp charge current, color touchscreen, and of course, like I said, AC-DC current. So you can plug it into the wall, you can power it externally. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, all in all, the box here, um, super cool. I mean, the awesome graphics from Team Orion. I really dig their boxes. I, I don't know if to, I, just, I just have a box fetish or what it is, but I really like um, their boxes for some reason. The graphics on it, super cool. I think what I've called it before is the Apple of uh, uh, RC products as far as the box especially. Um, super cool, ghosted uh, Orion box there with the graphics on all four sides. Very similar to their uh, motors and ESCs that they put out there. Inside here, let's see, super cool box. I mean, this thing is has some weight to it. This, If you plan to store your, your charger in here, this is a great box to have for it. So nice that they add that thing in. That's just super cool. Um, some of the literature in here, you have all your different languages, it looks like. Um, and let's see, maybe some kind of flow chart or let's see what this is. Quick start manual, that's always nice. You can kind of leave that in the box here so you can refer to it if you happen to. It tells you what wires go where. And also that cool balance board little uh, map there. I can't wait to check that thing out. That's thing, that thing is pretty cool. So that's the literature. Let's see, let's do some of the boring stuff first. Let's do all these... Uh, cords and whatnot that come with it. So first thing, USB cord that goes from mini to, to regular USB. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes here. Um, alligator clips, pretty cool for that external input. All of your different uh, charge leads, you have some, or not bananas, but uh, alligators right there. You have an EC3 from Losi. You have your Traxxas high current your Dean's plug, of course. You have a receiver pack. You have a Tamiya and that little JST in there too. So pretty cool, all four millimeter bananas. They're about an eight inch lead on each one. So pretty cool, good length on those. This is the cool thing. I, I have never actually had one of these and I'm so happy to get one of these in uh, my, my shop area here. This is one of the new uh, balance boards that has everything on it. So I don't have to have all these different balance boards and you know, if I'm charging a thunder power to break that one out, um, pretty cool. This is all organized. You kind of saw that little roadmap earlier. Um, has 6S, 5S, 
4S, 3S, and 2S of all the different brands. So pretty, pretty cool on this. Great job, Team Orion, for consolidating that thing out. So let's see what else is in here. And that looks like that's the external AC input right there. So plug straight in your wall. Different versions available at teamorion.com on that one as well. And let's take a look at the charger. Super cool. I and mean, this thing's pretty lightweight for what you get here. Very small, six inches by six inches. Looks like about two inches high on the very peak there. Let's pull it out of the bag. Wow, just great finish to this product. I mean, super high glossy. It has that kind of, you know, white glossy piano finish, I guess. Black piano finish, you know. Um, this is on the sides here. AC input, DC input. Uh, you got your mini USB. Um, lots of little f cuts in there to uh, dissipate the heat. Um, balance board ad adapter right there to plug your balance board into. Your outputs right there. Uh, nice and marked in red and black, which is always nice. And then, oh, look at those. You got the fans in there, those notorious Orion fans that just will blow so much air. Uh, that's just a great feature. Twin fan design, so that's pretty cool. Bottom side, uh, just all your normal warnings and whatnot on uh, and all your regulations and that good stuff. So, wow, just cool design here. Now, you may ask yourself, you know, why do I need another charger? Well, I'm just kind of simplifying things, and you know, I have my four port charger for the track. I leave that in my pit bag. I don't like to drag that thing out from place to place. Um, I have another charger that I plan to actually take to my work so I can charge batteries at my work while I'm sitting there for hours at a time. And then this one, this one's going to be here in my shop. Can't wait to get this thing all displayed up and got the touch screen up and going. So. Very nice welcome feature is going to be the different interface of the touchscreen. Lots of chargers out there just use the same mundane, you know, LiPo charge, 2S, 3S, and I think this is going to be very nice, very nice change. So great job, Team Orion. So all in all, that's it. I like it. If you guys have any questions about this charger or the RC network, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.